Malibu's all about having your own place and a cozy home and um, all the beaches are really kind of quiet because the beach we're on has no public access. When we found the place, which was six years ago, you can imagine two decorators <laughs> cohabitating. When I met Eric, he had this most gorgeous house in Wainscott out on Long Island and it was super modern and really chic and sleek. And I love stuff, like I'm almost a hoarder. So this house is a really good representation of the both of us where I will encourage Eric to like warm things up. He encourages me to edit. Uh, so Eric, yeah. you were the big push to be here in Malibu. Yeah, what, I love it. What is it about it that just like, what's your life here like? Because it just, it's like being on a ship and a beach house in all the best ways. It's, you're really transported here. No, I love it. I really do. I uh, My first college apartment was in Malibu 30 years ago. So I've been out here for a long, long time. I always think and of you as East Coast guy. I but know. I'm really West Coast guy? Like well, what? secretly West Coast guy, but I, I went back and, I've been going back and forth my whole life. Right. But I always kept this little place in Malibu forever. And then sadly, about 10 years ago, it burned down. Uh, when I moved back to LA to kind of be with Nathan, we, um, we I found said, this place together. We found this place together. I uh, said so we really need to be out here, so we started kind of coming out, looking, and he didn't really quite get it, but then he got but it. But now he's a Chicago, yeah, and you've yes. got your life with your dogs. Love it. Every weekend we're in L.A., You're we're here. out here. We and you entertain it. a lot. We entertain a lot. Every Saturday or Sunday we have, you know, 10, 12 people down for lunch, and Nathan loves to cook, and I love to kind of set things up and get things a little organized. You make the magic and then, happen. A little bit. It's like we're a good team. You way. are a good team. Yeah. Well, what I think is so interesting about the decor in here is that, you know, he was talking that you were the more modernist, and he right. was the guy with all the stuff, and it is this seamless blend of editing, right? but also not to the point of where it doesn't feel like cozy and delicious, and it's right. all about your lives yeah. everywhere you look yeah. and about the beach. Yeah, well I love that. I grew up on the beach, grew up in Southern California. I've been out in Malibu for a long time, so I think I have a real strong sense of what living on the beach entails. Thank um, you for making us lunch. Well, Mr. I've wanted to eat your food for years. This is what You're we like do a chef out here. besides being an amazing designer. I, I mean, I wish I was a chef. I should have gone to culinary school. I would actually would have loved it. But I'm like a self-taught. I grew up in a household where everyone cooked. Both oh. my brothers cook, uh, my mother, everyone. So I learned really at home. Um, and so how did you just not go that path? I actually tr was, long story, I actually was going to go in the food industry and, and was looking to open up a restaurant with a friend of my mother's who was in a, the restaurant industry um, when I stumbled into the antique business. Because I actually knew what I wanted the place to look like and I met an antique dealer and oh, then so started, you started designing a yeah, restaurant yeah and, and then, then I got into that and then I, I was love like, Wait, that that's right. why I put a kitchen in my very first shop because I was like didn't want to let that go of, that. of that world and that love yeah. and guess what you're still you've got a cookbook yeah. coming out exactly you I'm never... working on a cookbook as we speak of yeah. your favorite recipes it's and... really of my favorite recipes recipes that I know work 
and that I've been doing, you know, at lunches like this. So a crab louis is a very San Franciscan thing. And I, because I'm greedy, I do a seafood louis and I want crab and I want prawns and I want lobster. Yeah. So we're going to boil the lobster real we're quick. We're getting lobster today? I, Two? I'm rolling it out for you, lady. I'm so excited. I mean, look at the perfectly cooked egg. So we're going to um, boil up these lo uh, lobster tails. Oh, wow. Um, and I just boiled them in Old Bay, which I'm sure you know what that is. I because don't, but... You don't? Nope. I mean, you're from the East Coast. I know, I'm sorry, but and my East Coast cooking experience where I grew up was about, like, boiling well, without spice. <laughs> Trust me. Well, I grew up in Northern California in the East Bay where Alice Waters right. and that whole food movement, and I grew up going out to Napa Valley with my mother in, like, the station wagon to the grocery co-op, which it wasn't even... You didn't call it organic. Right, it was, you were farm just, to table before farm to yeah, table. Yeah, like it was yeah, just like kind of real thing. Everyone, everyone did. In, in that area, it's not even like we were revolutionary. Everyone in that That's area did. did. And I would be so annoyed. I'm like, why can't we just go to Safeway and buy food like right. normal people? And like I had bird's eyes peas. <laughs> yeah. I had the block of the You frozen. had what I wanted. I know, and I, I wanted, wanted like you weird had. fish sticks. But now... I'm so That's thankful all. because it gave me such of a course. proper education of food and how to grow it and what real food is and should be. Okay, so I'll do this. Lunch time. Come on. Do I have to put my coconut down? <laughs> no, never put the coconuts down. Oh, I love this. I'll get some flowers. Okay. Uh, well, you, you do have. have you, you, well, it's very just, very easy breezy here. Yeah. Oh, look at that little... You know, it's so important to have like the perfect little bud vases handy because then you can do little moments like this. Carbs. They do exist in L.A. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 